With almost 500 sessions at Next 2019, it's understandable you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see how to grow a spreadsheet into an application, then stay tuned, because here's the rewind. Almost everyone uses spreadsheets, many of us in similar predictable ways, but also for a surprisingly wide range of purposes. They're great for data collection, visualization, and modification, but sometimes they can get a little unwieldy or not have the exact customizations you need. Fortunately, Eric Kalita has been customizing spreadsheets to work for him for years now. I would know, I've stolen several of his app scripts. Anyway, he and Charles Maxson crafted this talk to take a look at a common life cycle of a spreadsheet and see its logical journey to becoming an application. Spreadsheets can be a great place to prototype and validate information within your organization. With customization and validation options, you can collaborate with your users to really get stuff done. The functions alone are an incredibly democratizing element and help anyone sort and make the most of the data without needing to use code. As your sheet gets more and more robust, all of that information might not be relevant to your end users. Preserving their experience and avoiding data disruption is straightforward with the included access control features and easy connection to Google Forms. You can collect all of the information you need and allow users to see or interact with only their required subset. Validation and automation are just as easily added with your app script. And when you decide that your customization needs have outgrown the extensive options within Sheets, it's only a matter of clicks to import all of your data over to AppMaker. The coolest part about using AppMaker is that you don't need to know how to code to turn your data set into an application. Drag and drop UI creation and embedded logic allow you to spin up an application with your existing data set and even unify multiple data sets on the back end. AppMaker is not quite a no-code option, but it could be, depending on the level of customization you want. It's pre-populated with tons of templates and applicable logic. But if your needs go beyond that, a few lines of code will get you the customizations you need. And if you decide you want to move more toward a legacy solution and create a full stack application, you're able to, as AppMaker is backed by Cloud SQL. And at the end of the day, if you want this backend running seamlessly and still want your users to be able to interact with the relevant data in a format they're comfortable with, you can port a subset back into a sheet without disrupting any of your integrity and without having to rebuild anything, which makes everyone's life easier. Outside of that life cycle, there are other great options as well. You can use add-ons for easy customization within your organization and Data Studio to build powerful visualizations. And the G Suite Marketplace is home to other third-party options when you're between a build or buy stage. All of these and more at developers.google.com slash G Suite. So that's your source for all possible options when it comes to creating a data-driven resource that lasts. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to check out the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.